We felt so bad lifting their spirits up. They were so excited. Taylor Swift fans devastated tonight after falling victim to a ticket scam. It was all they could talk about and then they came home from school yesterday to find out that we don't have any tickets. Looking live at Ford Field tonight where tens of thousands of people packed the stadium for Taylor Swift's first of two concerts in Detroit, but not among them four teenagers from Berkeley. Thanks for being with us for the News at 11. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Will Jones in for Devin Skillion. That family learned yesterday that they had fallen victim for a scam. Our Jacqueline Francis is live downtown tonight with the costly lesson they've learned. Jacqueline. Yeah, they're out $1,200 just like that. And the thing is, with Craigslist, there's no accountability or guarantees. It's the hottest ticket in town and Taylor Swift at Ford Field. That's oh gosh, it was a four and a half hour wait online after the system crashed for five hours. Selling out to Swifties in a matter of minutes. It was great. I got logged out like four or five times. Months before the show. And I feel really bad for the people who didn't get any. This is the first time I've never been able to get tickets to a concert. Lisa Turner couldn't get tickets the first time around, so she went on Craigslist searching for a last minute find for her daughter and three friends. She talked to the seller by phone. He had a big story about why he wasn't able to use the tickets and wanted them to get into the hands of fans and agreed to send me a ticket before I paid him, which was the only reason I agreed to it because I thought I was then preventing, like keeping out of the scams that I've heard about. A total of four tickets sent to her Apple wallet. She paid him on Venmo, $1,200, $300 apiece. Money well spent, she thought. <laughs> Just look at the girl's reaction. <laughs> then came the tears. There was crying yeah. when we found out we got them. And, and, and crying when we found out and we then, didn't have them. Yeah. <laughs> I had a Spidey sense yesterday and drove down to Ford Field with the tickets and took them into the box office just to make sure that they were okay. And they actually took the phone back, had to like look it up on their computer system, brought supervisors in and said that they were some of the best tickets they had ever seen, but that they were fake. In the end, it was the girls that lost the most. Them, like I have to work $300, like to get $300 back and so did them too. And then yeah. like, this was her only birthday gift. Yeah. Like now it's like very, very, very disappointing that like we have to work for all this money that we didn't get anything for. Yeah. yeah. The mom made a police report and filed a claim with Venmo and her bank. Again, this is just one of those heartbreaking examples of how scammers are taking advantage of people desperate to see the show. Reporting live in Detroit, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. All right, thank you, Jacqueline.